peace 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 on this monday june 27 2022 thank you for all authentic energetic exchanges inspired actions taken toward me i greatly appreciate it let's get into it this is a uh, daily intuitive message and we're going to see what is there to, what's up next, okay? What is there to prepare for? So let's get one card. What is this about? What is there to prepare for? What is this? Okay, what is this about? I just got money and influx. Um, investments like personal investments, investments for your family. Um, delegating it, I guess, like a um, what do you call that? A beneficiary type vibe, but. We have separation, loss, wow, karmic partner. It's it's not it's not easy at this time, man. And I do feel like for the ones that you know are quote unquote being left, there's a vibe here and it's been you know, this has been a vibe for the past year or so. Like it gotta go. Whatever type of relationship, even blood family, even your best friend, however long y'all been best friends, like you know, it's ascension, all right? Like, and, it, and, it, get, and it, it hits in different ways, you know what I'm saying? And it's not personal, okay? Yeah, some people break it off in janky-ass ways, ghosting or whatever. But, you know, people can have issues with whatever way they choose to do, okay? And either way, you know, if you get it, you get it. Is There's that, but... um. It's hard for the ones that are having difficulty seeing it that way in a grand scheme of things, I want to say. They're having difficulty, all right, because we have separation here. And it's, and the vibe is like, listen, I'm choosing me. Like, I, got, I mean, like, and it's not choosing me like in a self-centered, I mean, kind of like that, but it's about growth. Like, something inside of me is telling me to, like, expand. Like, and if we can't get along, if I'm always trying to convince you, you always holding me back, you know what I'm saying? If you always holding me back, then, you know, I got to go. And they're like in their ego about it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like. Memories. This is my, this is one of my Cancerian cards. Memories, nostalgia, repetition, attachment. We live in the past. Let it go. You know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a authentic agape vibe. You know what I'm saying? Not. A love and light vibe, an unconditional love vibe. You know, to me, unconditional love might as well just be regular love, you know, for whatever it's hitting for, right? And um, hold on one second. My bad. My bad. Um, but th whatever. You get what I'm saying. It's like, you know, authentically see you later. I gotta go. You know? So let's get three. And on the other side of it, I do feel like they're struggling with seeing it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Feeling slighted. Oh, you leaving me behind? Or what about this? Like, oh, you change now? Or something like that. New memories moving forward into the future. Take us one. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. 
Eight of Swords reverse. Like, I got to do this. Like, I'm stuck here. Somebody's, like, the overall vibe. And this is, again, about finances, too. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, it's necessarily your fault that I don't, I, I don't have the money or whatever in my bank or the career that I want. I will be further in my career if it weren't for you. But something a little bit like that, this person is saying that's leaving. I got the Eight of Swords reverse, the King of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Pentacles, Blasted Tower in reverse. It's a vibe of like, listen, I can't, you know, quote unquote, take care of you. Like, I got to do what I got to do. Like, I, I just do. You feel me? Like, I got to, I got to do this straight like that. All right. Like, I can, I can't support you anymore like this. You want to be stuck in your ways. You want to be rigid. You only want to do things this way. Like, you, you not holding just, you know, us up. You holding me up, whatever the situation is. So, Knight of Pentacles. All right. Somebody is like, listen, this work that I put in, it's like, this is like a, not an attitude I can do bad by my damn self, but like like a vibe like that, like a revitalization around my work. You know what I'm saying? Like I can, you know, do this. And I don't know why I put, put three cards, but whatever. All right. This is just what it is. Ace of Wands. This is the situation. This is this person. This is the situation. And, you know, this is what they're doing. That's what I picked three. Okay. My bad. I just have to make it make sense to myself right quick, but... This is about passion. This is about creativity. This is about newness. All right, that's that's what I'm doing. And this is what this is what's right for me. You know, if this is like a legal separation, it is going in this person's favor. Um, this is for balance. This is for peace. This is for harmony. And as far as you know, what they should do is, you know, if somebody is. Um, you know, try to over manipulate the situation. It kind of feels like, like, let them do it. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, this is this person. Like this work, like I, I like I gotta reclaim like my efforts. Somebody realizes, like, yo, I'm putting, I, I, like, the work that's being done is not like, it's it's all me, and this person is benefiting off of it. And they're stuck. Like, they, I, I have to help them take care of their responsibilities. Like, that's their responsibility to take care of financially. Like, my work, my hard work, my dedication, it seems like it's mine. Yep. I'm telling you, it ain't, it ain't no problem. Oh, my God. 6-6. Six, six. I'm telling you, man. This is the vibe. This is what it is. Peace. This person is saying, like, I don't have no problem with you. I don't. But what's fair is fair. Six of Pentacles. All right. I got to get what's like another match for me. And, and finances has a big, it's like, the, it's a big chunk. All right. This has nothing to do with like, quote unquote, love. I feel like the love is there. Okay. It's agape. Meaning like, okay, me doing me could hurt you. But that don't mean that, you know, I don't have heart I don't have heart space for you okay your ego can make it seem like that people got some big egos meaning like okay somebody doing what's individually right for them okay and of course there's levels to this shit you know what I'm saying you can't be a, like if you saying that you dedicated to a person romantically and you just like well I'm gonna cheat because I gotta do what's right for me come on man you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about all right. Having to do what's authentically right for me and what I feel authentically is right. And I'm being truthful with you. All right. Because this is after the conflict, then there should be no problem. All right. So that's what this person is doing. Getting what's right for them. Moving on in peace. It's balanced. Because again, some, this, they're stuck. They would stay stuck with this person. They, they wouldn't be living to their full potential if they stayed in this situation. Look, again, all their work going to waste. Having difficulty... Um, you know, with self-development and shit like that. Narky behavior. One day you love me, one day you don't. Okay, and again, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, like, I can't keep suffering losses with you. So, the situation, the situation around this is justice. Okay, it could be another partner. Again, if this involves a legal situation, it's going in this person's favor that is separating. It is. And somebody could very well think that it's unfair. But this is also person. this person rec uh, realizing that whatever Saturn duty they had, okay, part, maybe in Taurus, maybe in Scorpio, Saturn in Taurus, Scorpio, the second house, eighth house, or something like that. Whatever Saturn duty, maybe Saturn in Libra. 
or Aries or something like that. Whatever it was, it's done now. Maybe on the grand scheme of things, on a soul level, I have to fulfill this duty. But I'm 28 now, 29. I had a Saturn return. Whatever the situation is that my duty is up, the situation is up. I cleared my karma. However you want to put that, I'm done. Wow. So justice two times, they made the decision. Okay, there could be another decision to make, like, with another... I do feel like there's another decision to make with another partner. Like, this is rectified. Now another partner is coming in or another situation, situation a decision is going to come in that they're going to have to make. They're going to cut it out. Uh, this is going to be somebody... This par, maybe the same person, maybe somebody else is going to try to return that they already cut out because, again, they saw it as regressive, uh, karmic-type behavior. They cut it out before and they know they're coming back with some lies because they see that they're independent now. Or maybe they see that they're single now. Oh, shit, they broke up with that person or they separated from that situation. Let me try to slide off. And it's like, no, no. All right. Balance, authentic harmony, um, authentic partnership, harmony, peace. You know what I'm saying? No more, quote unquote, karmic decisions. Meaning I know in my mind, I feel in my gut that I shouldn't do this. So I'm going to trust that. So I don't have no demon spawns. I don't have no blood on my hands or whatever the situation is. I don't create no soul ties at this time. All right, I'm done. I cleared it up. So what you should do, magician in reverse, all right? Work, you know, know that you do have all capabilities of making this happen and or never mind this person that's trying to, you know, do some manipulation tactics, you know, to get you to do whatever they want you to do. Yeah. 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 All right. So, cause there's success here. It came out sideways. Somebody, this person, whoever it is, somebody is, and I do feel like you do know them. All right. Another strong partner type situation could be married to them or whatever BFFs. I don't know whoever. All right. Trying to get your attention, see that you are absolutely focused on success or whatever. And they're going to try to link up eight of wands in reverse on that ass. That's my skirt on 22s. Like skirt, like I'm not, you turn. All right. I'm not talking to you. Like I, I know what you're doing. I know why you're here. All right. Yes. I'm attract. Listen. Wow. 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 I'm attracting or I'm and or I'm going after, but this is a this is a fire partnership. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, not they have, you know, some you know, whatever. Whether they have strong placements in those archetypes or not, could be strong placements in the eleventh, fifth, ninth house, uh, I mean first, fifth, and ninth house or whatever, but it's an authentic soulmate that do that they do shit. And this 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 couple look good, man. They look good, okay? They feel good. They bring the energy wherever they go. They make shit happen, all right? The soul couple, whatever the situation, the fire couple, excitable, do shit, mad attractive, all right? A lot of the times that shit look like magic, all right? Whatever the situation is. And I'm telling you, there is going to be another person, all right, with this daggone devil card, okay, that you, again, that you're going to have to be discerning with, possibly in Leo season, possibly in Leo season, somebody's going to try to come around with some type of shadow man type proposition, like, hey, if you sign on this dotted line, then you can have this, be aware, be aware, are you discontent, somebody discontent, being insatiable is a, is a motherfucker, all right, of course there's always better, of course there's always more, but is there a reason, to desire that, to want that or whatever? Why are you discontent? Why are you not satisfied? Be aware of people that's not like that. Never content. Never satisfied. Always looking for the next thing. Wanting you to sign a contract for what? All right, so let's just get one more card. All right, so we be aware of the receiving party. Be aware of receiving of the commitment of your dreams, all right, that you dream about or whatever, and that, again, something's going to be resurrected and try to come to your house, but it's toxic, okay? And that's what I got, all right? See you later, peace.